Okay, um, this is an apology video because I've asked you to submit number seven, but number seven is a really odd question. So here is my answer to number seven. Um, normally, when we do a two-tailed test with a 5% level of significance, we try and find critical values here and here so that the, the value of the probability is less than 0 0.025 because we split our 5% between the top and the bottom the tail. Uh, this is one of those questions that says, actually, the probability in the tail should be as close uh, to 2.5% as possible, rather than less than. So less than is the default setting, but there's a definite difference in the wording here. Anyway, we're told that this is about um, operations and hospitals and complications. So it's 20 patients and 20% of them uh, suffer complications. So we're expecting um, uh, four to be our peak. So when I started on my calculator um, looking at the probability from zero to a particular value and trying to find um, when it was less than 0 0.025, when I got to one, so um, a lower of zero and an upper of one, um, that was still, so the probability that x is less than or equal to 1, that's still bigger than 0 0.025. Uh, that's rounded to four decimal places. So what does that mean? Well, let's just work out the probability that x is nothing. And that has a probability. Yet you know, We might have no patients with complications. And I get that by just doing lower and upper of 1. So that's 0 0.0115. Now, we were asked which probability gets us closest to that, and it's this one here. So we get a really odd situation. There isn't a critical region at all. Well, there is. So the critical region at the bottom end um, is when x is 0. So it's not a region at all. It's just one value. That's at the lower tail. So the only value which rings alarm bells for us at the lower tail is zero. Now let's look at the upper tail. Um, so now okay, I'm... if I look at the top end, so if I try different values up to 20, so 10 to 20, 9 to 20, 8 to 20, and 7 to 20, these are the probabilities I get. Now, if it was a normal question, we would say that 7 to 20 is the critical region because that's the first value that goes below 0 0.025. But because this question is worded slightly differently, which is closest to 0 0.025, it's that one. So in this question, the critical uh, region, the critical value is 8. So as well as x is 0, we've got and x is greater than or equal to 8. So that's the answer to the critical region. So in part um, b, we're asked for the actual significance. So that means we add that probability and that probability together, turn that into a percentage. And then for part c, they find that actually in one sample of 28 patients experience complications so that is inside the critical region by the definition that they use. So with that in mind, we can reject the null hypothesis that there's 20% of people who have complications. And uh, it looks like the, prop the uh, probability is different to that. Remember, with the two-tailed test, we're saying the probability is different. I hope that explains it. I'm sorry uh, that I picked a poor question uh, to get you to submit, um, but please get in touch if you have any questions uh, leading from that.